Hi hey everyone, it's Lee here. Welcome to day 17 of Junk Journal January. It's a challenge that's hosted by Meg from Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. So it's 31 prompts for the month of January and the prompt for today is whimsical. So I've got my watercolours again and I'm going to start with a wispy background light blue to represent a sky. What I'm going to do today is mostly collage work. So I've got this piece of, uh, well it was a watercolour painting and I've just covered it in um, paints, various colours, watercolour paint. And I'm going to cut shapes out of them. So the big green patch I put in there because I want that to be where I cut some trees from. So I'll cut out some trees and some birds and some flowers and some mountains. And I have an image out of a storybook and I'll um, put that into the, uh, the page as well. As I cut the shapes out I'm just auditioning them on the page before I stick anything down just to see how everything fits in. Just drawing some trees onto the paper now, just just rough shapes, sort of the same as what you probably find in the in the storybook that the image of the little girl came out of actually. So, so that's what I'm trying to achieve: something bright and cheery and fun to look at. I'm just going to try and fashion some wings for the girl. So everything that I put on this page apart from the girl is off that piece of watercolour paper that I did the messy painting on. Just cutting out three very abstract birds to put in the sky. Got all my pieces ready now so I'm just going to start sticking them down where I want them to be. I'm using art glitter glue to do that because that um, watercolour paper is quite thick and I need something really strong to hold it in place. Okay. 
If you're enjoying this video and you are getting value from it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you. I'll attach the wings to the girl but I won't glue her down yet because I wanted to paint her dress and brighten that up just a little bit. I cut a little heart out and um, just painted that red, oh there it is, um, she's going to be flying her heart as if it's a kite. Yeah, I'm just colouring the dress in, making it a little bit brighter. Let's put her aside to dry. Now these little things are just little shapes that I cut out of the paper to represent flowers. Once I glue all them down, I'll, um, we'll later on draw, uh, paint some stems on them with black watercolour. I wanted to outline everything with black and I tried using this pencil. I didn't want to use Stabilo. Um, I've, I've been using it on everything so I thought today I'd do something different. But it just wasn't making a, um, any impact. So I ended up using black watercolour. I've got my gold watercolour here now and I'm just brightening that sun up and I think I also paint her, oh well, I'm splattering to start with, but I think her, that I paint her necklace and her stockings and maybe her hands in gold as well. And of course I do a few white splatters. This was fun to do. I, I love um, collaging in this manner where I cut out my own shapes, my own wonky shapes I guess, and uh, make them into something. I've done it a few times in different projects so yeah I was really happy with the way this turned out. So this is day 17, whimsical, 
Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you tomorrow, all things being equal, for Borders. Okie dokie. There's always something that I add on afterwards, isn't there? So I'm just putting a little bit of the black crayon on the corners of these pages. I didn't go all the way around it. Yep, happy with that. I really like the way that looks. What do you think? So happy crafting. Hope you're playing along and uh, see you tomorrow. Cheers and hugs from Australia. Hooroo.